Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Prey. We're still in this, uh, well, maintenance vent. Right next to the hardware labs. And there's at least one phantom in this area immediately. So it's somewhere over there right now. It can't teleport. But I think it's, yeah, it's right over there. Ooh. So he's just patrolling this area. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this game. I feel like... With a few neural mods, we've, uh, well, gotten. We're starting to get a hang of how this game actually works. And this thing watching me now. I can actually throw that, right? There we go. That did a bit of damage. I'm just going to check here. I think it knows where I am right now. Or doesn't it? But that's probably that it's not aware of me. Ow! Okay, managed to stun me there. There we go. That didn't waste much ammo. Because I blew it up first. That's great, and now... Oh, there's definitely one more. Which isn't good, is it? But we got a type. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Petri dish sample. And a Psy Hypo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's great. The workshop is right over there, and I am going to check how my food situation helps me with this. So there's one banana that takes one slot. So if I just eat that, I get the 90 again, so 10 instead of 5. And then we get up to 95 then, I suppose, or even longer. It's not disappearing, so it's still going up, which is nice. There's two of the same thing here. I can carry the crate if I want to. But I think the area is free for now. I think the other phantom is in there. Behind the door. But we kind of got into the workstation with the maintenance vent. So we don't need to worry about that second phantom just yet. Oh, but it's definitely making noise. But I don't think I can even... Is it in that cell? No, I think that's actually the other area. So broken cooler fan... You can take all that. Conrad Birchman. Sorry about you, Conrad. I got spooked by my own shadow there. And I feel like we're getting a hang of things. We got a few abilities. We got a few weapons now. Which is really, really good. And we're finally using the environment to our advantage as well. That's just one chair. Two boxes. I don't think Mimics actually go on top of the other object they're uh, copying. Which makes sense. So... Calvino's workshop. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. The security roster. So secure storage locker for Calvino. And there's actually another maintenance panel here, but with leverage we can actually take care of that. I thought our inventory was almost full, but by eating a banana that probably fixed itself. This, if I can get a recycler pretty close, that would be nice. So, I can carry the crate out of the way. I'm just going to carry it, because let's put that to the sides here. There we go. Let's put that over there. And that gives us enough space to go in, I suppose. There we go. More spare parts where that came from. Always nice. So let's open up the maintenance access panel. And this is where that named phantom was, I think. Oh, and there's multiple robots patrolling the area as well. So machine shop. So there must be a recycler in here, right? So that operator is freaking out. Is it just that or is there something else here? Might be just that. So if I can... I'm going to equip that thing. The disruptor stun gun. I still have about... I don't know how much ammo I have for that, actually. Let's go a bit closer. There we go. I mean, I'm still reloading. I don't know. Oh, so I have three and a half batteries. That's showing on the gun, which is interesting. I could probably repair the turret. So repair two. Okay, so I need to... Ooh, God... 
So I can probably charge up the disruptor gun from behind the cabinet here. And get a sneak attack in if I... Come on. There we go. There we go. And it explodes and it kills us that oil. That's not good. It's probably... In oh, what's this? This thing is not that firing. You probably use the out equipment. God damn it, I got hit there. Q beam cells. I don't know what those are. But I'm getting them from these things. If I can get that one skill that gets a spare part, I will be nice. a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Oh God. So I saw what it did. I think it changed into that plastic tubing over there. Okay, so it's going. I'm going to switch to the pistol because I want to take it out quickly. There we go. There we go. I tried to mimic the operator here, which is uh, not a smart idea. But now, I really need a recycler. And I feel like this is the area that would have one. Logically, it would make sense that this place would have one. There's actually a lot of explosive stuff here as well. Because there's also just a lot of materials for it to, uh, to be here. Because there's a lot of plastic tubing and stuff like that. And if I have a recycler, there might even be a fabricator that I can use to make more pistol ammo. Oh, up there. Okay, so it's up there. And there's an Artax fabrication plan. Is that the maneuvering system that uh, January was talking about? Uh, okay, that's not... There's two... Two... Yeah, that's definitely... One of them is... Okay, so there's a radioactive stuff in there. Which is interesting. I should... Probably shouldn't blow that up. There's more repair stuff over here as well. There's one more of those corrupted bolts in here, but I don't know how to actually get in there. Could use the glue cannon to actually get up there. I'm just gonna check if there's another way. Ah, so this is the airlock I can use to get outside. Okay, that's what she was talking about. And there went my voice for a second, but there we go. So here's the terminal of Clive Lawrence. I think that was the phantom that we saw before. So, oh, oh, no, I just want to stand up. There we go, that's the same button. The Huntress is ready. Okay, guys, I think it's ready to go now. I've dubbed it the Huntress Boltcaster, so that's the foam Boltcaster. Clive, I love your idea for capacitive tips on the bolt. Send me a technical spec and I'll incorporate it into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touchscreen they hit. I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricator so we can make some of these after work and try them out. Okay. Then the missing operator plans. Have you looked into the operator dispenser logs and the missing parts? Every operator on the station needs to be accounted for. I'll bring it up to Alex next. Please do. It's not my responsibility. It's Morgan's. And then the fabricator malfunction. Dr. Thorstein, I checked the neuromod stamps and the lattices in the fabricator and both checked out. There's no obvious failure in the components. I may need to disassemble the machine. It's possible there's something in the specs Igwe is using that's causing the failure rate. Hard to believe. Igwe is pretty thorough, but we all make mistakes. I'll keep working on it. Maybe there was something specific about that batch. Weren't there a few scrambled ones last cycle too? So what are we talking about here? Thanks for the update. I'll handle it from here. So there's something wrong. Okay, so the neural mods they were making were starting to fail. Be scrambled. Is that how the Typhon came to be? Because I feel like those guys aren't just aliens. I feel like they might actually be... Ah, hold square to pick up multiple items. But there aren't multiple multiple items here, so I don't know why, why I get the tooltip here. But, 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 I think I can get up here by using the same glue cannon trick as before. I'm just gonna not stand in the fire, because that seems really, really dangerous. 
So if I do this, I can go up here and up here. Okay, that's great. No mimics here. No mimics here. Okay. Ooh, wow. There's a lot of materials here. Don't mind if I do. Artex Propulsion System Fabrication Plan. So that's the propulsion system. Great. So now we have uniform guides. Ooh, that's interesting. So brown and black corporate and administrative. Green and white science and technology. Orange engineering. Blue and black security. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. So brown and black are the corporate guys. So that's maybe interesting. Their other colors were pretty logical. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. So there's everything we would ever need down here. Uh, I don't have enough space, but I can eat it because I actually need a bit of uh, a bit of health. Can actually use that. So let's recycle our stuff over here. So that's a lot of our inventory already gone. Let's push the button. That gives us ooh a lot of metal, which is really good. There we go. Grab all the materials and accidentally reload my glue gun, which is fine. So let's use the fabricator. So we can use the Artax propulsion system. Probably should make that. That's actually pretty easy. There we go. Synthetic material and mineral material. And create. And that gets us our propulsion system. So hold X while falling to glide or slow your descent. So now we have a jetpack. That's good. Get a trophy for that? No? no tro I feel like that would be a trophy. Come on, boys. Come on, Arcane. Uh, I could use more 9mm bullets, bullets. So I have enough for... You know what? Let's create that. I don't know how many I'm going to get. 30. That's a nice patch. Okay, so that's good. So that's good. And that makes a bit of space, I'm assuming, as well. Since we've... I could do that again, but I feel like it's not necessary. And I have enough ammo for the glue gun for now as well, as long as I don't overuse it. So, I'm happy with that. Oh, there's more plastic tubing here. Might check the rest of the area to pick everything up. Because I feel like I missed a few other things as well. This place is falling apart. Ooh. How do I... Okay, so I can hold X to get that, but how do I go... That's not going to help, is it? I don't know how to get up there, because there's a few materials over there as well. Um, okay. Never mind, so let's check the files. So, fabrication plan for the Hunter's Bolt Caster 1.3. Noise reduction on trigger action. Decreased weight while retaining structural stability. And finalized name to the Hunter's Bolt Caster. Okay, let's transfer that file. I don't know what that did, but... Find nice name to the hunt. Reject the class suggestion of paint thrower. Of paint thrower. Or Franklin's excruciator. Okay. The bolt caster ammunition. Let's grab that as well. So that's probably going to give us another thing in the fabricator then. Yeah. So now we can make the bolt caster and the flexi foam bolts. Just in case if you wouldn't have any of those yet. There's a lot of weird noises going around. And I don't, I don't really like it, but if he, oh yes, we can jump to it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's not good. If I just go with the pistol, maybe the pistol is lighter. Huh. There we go. Glide to the car. Oh, so I use the button to actually glide, which is interesting. There we go. Objective complete. And we got a bunch of EMP charges for our troubles as well. And then maybe I can even. Get over here. There we go. I got your number, buddy. There's something... Oh, so that's the radioactive stuff that we're right next to here. More Typhon stuff. I don't know if we need to... Stuff over here. I don't need to... Because I don't have the symbol just yet. But I can drop into this room now from here. Which is also going to be nice. As long as there aren't 50 mimics in here. Just going to take a look around before we go down. Doesn't seem like there's any duplicate objects here. So let's drop down. Take the new remotes. That's two more, which is great. Okay, calm down. Glue canister. I'm just going to stand up. 
glue canister a note. We need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're correct on that. Uh, we got another weapon upgrade get it, but I think I want to use that to upgrade our pistol damage. Because the pistol is our main damage dealer right now. So if we use the menu and upgrade it. Firepower from 8 to 9. It's not the end of the world, is it? But uh, let's do that, yeah. Firepower increase. So 9 and then again go up to 11, but that's locked because I need gunsmith for that. And I have 3 neuro molds. So that's going to be a decision, I think. I think we need to get that thing that we can get spare parts from the uh, robots. Because there's a lot of robots lying around here. And I think it's supposed to be an engineering. The extra inventory space would be nice as well. But break down equipment in your inventory from into spare parts. And recover spare parts from destroyed operators. There we go. So that's what I want to have. This mantle. So I can break down equipment in my inventory and recover spare parts. The next two are going to go into suit modification one. So we have more inventory space and chipsets. I don't know what that does, but I guess we'll see. There we go. So now we can dismantle. We can get all those spare parts from the bots we've destroyed. Um, but there's more where that came from. Just going to loot all this because there's a lot of stuff in this place. Can I open up the door from inside? I can. So manual override works from the inside. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. I'm just going to recycle what we just got. Um, the game is saving. There's also an area underneath here, but I can't seem to drop down. So how do I get down there? Because I have a bit more inventory space. If I just crouch. And then, okay, I can fix that with the glue cannon. Like this. And then the... The oil. There we go. That actually stops the fire as well, which is good. Oh. Well, that didn't do anything. I can get some more materials from this thing, but... Hmm. There might be something I need to lift to get in here. So we can get the spare parts now, which is great. Oh, leverage tree. Yeah, I can move the cargo with leverage tree. Don't know what the open and close thing was there, but... Yeah, so there's those cargo things I can move that and that way I could get in there. So let's just recycle the stuff we found. And we can get more blocks. There we go. There we go. So that got us quite a bit of materials actually. Just want to see. Can we make more 9mm bullets? We can. Maybe we want to spare. I uh, want to save some. No, let's just do that. Come on. There we go. Since we now made our pistol better, I might as well take those bullets with me. Because uh, I don't think... How much can I carry in one slot? Well, at least 71, which is great. And the rest we'll have to see. The rest we'll have to see. Okay. Is there anything else? Hmm. There seems to be more stuff. If I can get over there, there might be even more stuff there. There's even materials up there. Which I can probably get to from over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then with the wrench I can smack that. And... Wait. Is this the place? I think this is the place. Okay, this place is filled with materials. I'm gonna be here a while. Give me a second. So there's even an upper floor. I can grab the... Ooh, bourbon. And there's another bolt caster here. Clive was here. Okay. Let's take the bolt cast. I might as well... I think I can actually... Dis can I dismantle that now from the menu here? So if I use the menu, I can dismantle. There we go. I dismantled it into synthetic material. So I can do the same with the two wrenches I have uh, over there in the corner, I think. So that's going to be nice. Ooh, it is far. But with the glide... I went over it. Oh god. There we go. Okay. Suddenly there were multiples. Multiple mimics still in the room. That's annoying. Um...
There we go. Where the hell are these coming from? There's another one. Well, I didn't really get into this area before, did I? Although, I came out of that hole, so I, sh I should have seen them. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try that again. Uh, I've been jumping around for a lot of the time now. Or maybe those boxes were actually mimics. That could be. That I accidentally pulled them down. And there's another neuromold on this guy's uh, corpse. So that is Peter Coleman. Peter Coleman. There's more boxes here. Suit repair kit. Oh my god. This place is heaven. This place is material heaven. So if I just drop down. Okay. There's more stuff in here. A lot of suit repair kits. So if I'm ever in need of uh, getting my suit repaired. Um, I came prepared. To be repaired. Yes. That, that was genius. That was genius. Okay. So let's get to... The, let's stop patting myself on the back. Uh, do one more pass on the dismantling stuff. And uh, we'll try to get out of here. Because I think I just got what I needed. Right? Oh, I, I don't think I checked the emails over there. Uh, oh. Sorry for the bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try the new gun. And then there's something about a cat. Don't sweat it when the cat's away and all that. I think I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you and Mary. And now we have these psychotronic satellites. The satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kelstrap has requested that we remove the psychotronic transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do, so don't bother asking. Just get it done ASAP. Okay. So there's something with the satellite as well. And the satellite is probably... That thing over there. I'm just going to grab the spare parts from these guys. Because I can do that now. I think I killed three. There's one more in that other area. But I can't really access that right now. Okay. So the workshop is over there. Probably through that door. Because we're not in the correct space right now. And repair two. I still don't have that. Which would have been nice to have that turret on my side. Oh. So there's conveyor controls over here as well, but uh, conveyor cargo, scheduled maintenance is required to not operate conveyor without proper authorization. Move cargo. I don't really need to do that, right? I don't really need to do that. I'm just going to grab those two... I can actually go underneath here. I'm just going to grab those two wrenches. So I dropped one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. One wrench. And this guy also had a wrench, so that's two wrenches. And then I can dismantle them in the inventory right now because of my skills. My skills. There we go. One. And that actually gives us... If I look at spare parts, that gives us one spare part. I was hoping I'm going to get two, but no. One spare part. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Now the question is, do I first go back... I think I want to go back to where we came from. So we can actually grab the materials on those bolts. Although maybe it's not necessary. Because I have this advantage now of being over here. I know where the enemies are. I know... Okay. I know where the enemies are. I know how to take them out. And that they're limited in numbers. At least in this area. This area is also on fire, by the way. So that might not be the best. There's elevators. Right over there. This doesn't seem too weird, but... Ballistics lab and chemical lab. That does sound like something I want to be at. Wow, that's loud. If I'm yelling, I apologize, but wow, that's loud. Um, exterior breach detected beyond this point. In the chemical lab. Okay, but we can fix a few things first. If I put one of those glue thingies on the edge there... That's fixed. Now this area, we haven't been in this area either. Uh, but I don't have the correct key card to get into the ballistics lab. That sounds like something I want to go into, by the way. Ballistics are guns. And I like guns. Aha! Ballistics lab key card. That's great. That was easy. Could have made that a bit harder to find, but there we go. Let's open that up. Unlock that. Might be an enemy in here. Oh wow, there's two mimics inside of that globe. So those clearly can't get out. Which is good. This noise is taking me on edge. So I can carry... Okay. I don't know where the grate went. Ow! 
I hit myself with the grate because it went over my head, literally. So let's take all the materials. And then for Lily new code is A3333. That's a ballistic safe. Okay, that's cool. Um, they're glitching through. But I don't think they can actually get to me. As long as they don't break the glass. Just gonna grab all the materials I can. And then the code was A33, so let's just go A333. And that gives us a lot of materials. And then two more emails. So the ballistics lab. Nope, I'm just gonna stand up for this. Unknown material. I was testing the recycler charge and something peculiar happened. I placed the usual source material into the chamber and set off the charge. Mixed in with the result was something I've never seen before. A purple, almost organic looking substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material? I'm unsure how to proceed, so I've placed the unidentified material in the safe for now. So she must have accidentally put a mimic in there and she was really lucky that the mimic didn't kill her. Although, I think Lily is the one that was outside. No, Amy. Oh, no. That was Amy, 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 Amy Schmidt, so she was outside dead, so might not be that lucky. Lily, I've been informed you are in need of an updated recycler charge fabrication plan. It just so happens I have a spare plan in my quarters. Remind me before next shift and I'll bring it down. Dr. Thorstein. Have we seen Dr. Thorstein's lab already or not? I mean, I like the amount of materials in this place, but... I don't need to kill those mimics, right? Or are they protecting something? Is there something in there? I don't think there is. Gives me a nice view on the mimics, by the way. They're just tentacle monsters. Definitely still tentacle monsters. Open chamber, release recycler charge. Chamber sealed, recycler or EMP charge and grenade container. Uh... Oh wow, I turned them into materials. Let's open that up. There we go. Organic, exotic materials. So yeah, she put that in here and then just whacked it. That was interesting. So that's, we finally saw the uh, recycler charge go off. In memoriam, right, Halex, employee Lily Morris, oh. Cyclic charge went off with my foot in range. The organic material that was once a part of me is now neatly compacted into the sphere you see before you. Take heed. Okay, so we just picked up Lily's foot. That's great. And that's a list of material yields. Okay. Just gonna check because I feel like there's two cups. Two cups. We need to be careful about the cups. Oh, gold. Calm down. Uh, there's more stuff in here, apparently. I missed this coil. What's this? Breach failsafe. Control panel. I can't really do anything with the control panel. Uh, ooh. There we go. Anything behind this? Nope. Okay. I think we, uh, we're done with the ballistics lab as well. Didn't actually get us a gun. I was hoping that was going to get us a gun, but apparently not. Okay, let's go. Oh, we can't even go in here because it's locked off. I thought there was going to be a way of us getting in there, but apparently not. Gonna have to go up. That is still extremely loud. And there's something we can actually repair. Oh god. You've been hit by an arc of electricity from a broken electric junction. Glue temporarily stops the arcing electricity long enough for you to use repair too, or bypass the hazard entirely. Move back. Holy shit. Okay. Let's use a med kit for that. That's uh, severe enough for us to uh, actually use a med kit. So that's that, and then we can drink off the rest, I think. There we go. Let's use the glue cannon. Oh, but that's, that's the, yeah, that's the place we actually went into already. So we didn't even need to go in there. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna use a second health kit, I think, because that actually hit me for quite a bit. Although, it's gonna be too much, isn't it? I'm just gonna wait until the effect wears off, and then I'll use the, the other T. 
There is this thing, but this was where Clive was. I'm just gonna re recharge the glue cannon. Yo, so that was Clive, right? We marked him as Clive. I'm just gonna drink another tea. Because <laughs> if I get hit by that thing, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be fucked. I could actually... He needs to go through here, right? If I can damage the... Like this. And now I need to lure him over here, but... I should have probably thought about this before I did that. Uh, Clive! Come on, Clive! Come on, Clive! Get through the fire, yeah. You're doing great. There we go. You're doing great, Clive. I'm really happy about that. That was... Taking the uh, advantage of the uh, environment. Taking advantage of the environment. Three spare parts, that's great. Uh, I'm gonna have to glue the... Yeah, there we go. Glue the fire. So there's another one of those. Oh, that's sad. So Clive is where he, where his uh, bolt cast is. That is that is really sad, isn't it? Because he was transformed while he was just working on his uh, foam crossbow. That's so sad. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna recycle his crossbow. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, there we go. Menu dismantle. Sorry, Clive. Oh, kinesthetic assister. Is that something? Regenerate stamina more quickly. Well, might as well equip that. Uh, and how are our neuromods doing, by the way? I still have only one, so that's fine. So that's a chipset. That's nice. That's our first chipset. There we go. More glue canisters, which is always nice. We're having a lot of ammo for that, which is uh, perfect, of course. So, recycle the world. There we go. A lot more synthetic materials. I'm just gonna grab everything that comes out of it. There we go. I think we have a lot, a lot of materials. I'm just gonna drink another tea. I'm gonna drink another tea. What does the bourbon actually do? Cures fear. Okay, but I'm not fearful at the moment. But at least we now know that that's... Oh, duck beer. That's also, that also cures fear. So I'm drunk right now. Great, that's, that's, oh my god, okay, so that's, that's not something I actually should use, so, the big candy bag, there we go. And that actually gets rid of my, uh, my drunkenness as well, apparently. So that's that, and what's this? Oh, that's another glue cannon. I can dis uh, dismantle that as well, but we have a transcribe from Thaddeus York. Dr. Thorstein, where are you? Machine shop, I was just... I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods, exotic material, just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. So this is supposed to be the way to Thornstein then, because he was going... Because Thornstein's office sounds like a veritable treasure trove, which is going to come in handy. Uh, but first I'm going to dismantle that glue gun in my inventory, because I don't need two of them. Uh, there we go, and it's not the one, because this one is upgraded, so this is the other one. So let's dismantle that. There we go. A few more spare parts for our troubles. And keeping our inventory pretty clean. More glue canisters, and moving forward. So this is another maintenance tunnel that we haven't seen yet. More spare parts. And another silenced pistol. So the guy gives us three more bullets. And that's actually quicker than if you can get this pistol first. What the hell was he doing here? There's no way out. There's definitely no way out. I'm gonna dismantle the pistol now as well. I'm gonna have to start repairing stuff. But I'm out of neuromolds at the moment, so... Another nice upgrade would be repair too. But at least we killed Clive. But again doesn't get us anything aside from yeah killing Clive and the materials we got well the only thing we haven't checked yet is the security station which is still marked on our map and upstairs upstairs right 
So there's two elevators here. Might as well do that first. Um, although I could open this up and get the spare parts from the robots. Now we can actually check if there's nobody over here anymore. So I hear noises, but it might be that it's not just linked to this. No, that's not normal that there's two chairs here. There we go. I think it was confused that I went under the desk. I was just as confused. But uh, there we have it. So that's silenced pistol ammo fabrication plan. I think I had that already. Oh, wow. Is that a list of the crew? Track all the employees on board of Talos 1. So are there people still alive? Mary Malinaro is in the crew quarters. She seems to be still alive. And Salman Kapoor as well, also in the crew quarters. There's a lot of people on this station. Riley Butler of security is still... Okay, that's... It's, it's really cool that you can check all that. And then two utilities. Area map, might as well download that. There we go, look at that. Ooh, wow, that's a cool map. Uh, and then unlock the security locker. Don't know where that is. Is that over here somewhere? Probably those two in the back here. So that's three bullets. A weapon upgrade kit. What the hell is that noise? I think it's above me. There's another silenced pistol over here, so I can take that as well. With 15 bullets. So don't mind if I do. I can hear it stomping around, so it must be right above me. So there's a turret here where I can, I can actually deploy. Which is good. So I can use that. Oh, I can get up here as well. So that's probably the best way to get around to the Phantom then. But... Let's first grab the uh, the stuff from the turrets that we killed right here. So we killed two of them over here. So one of them is here. And then the other one, I think I killed them over here on the left. So yeah, this one. Okay. And so now, because I've gathered a lot of stuff, I'm actually going to quick save. And with that, I'm actually going to take a little break as well. Because we've done a lot again. We're almost where we need to be, I think. If I can get uh, the secure... Wait, why is it still marked? I think I might have missed something. I was going to take a little break. But... Oh, God. That's not good. Probably. So the security station is over here. What does it want me to do here? Okay, yeah, of course. Dr. Calvino. So Dr. Calvino... Lorenzo Calvino... There we go. Locate crew member. Find Lorenzo Calvino in the hardware labs. Hardware labs are upstairs. So with that, now I'm really going to take a little break. So I'm not going to go through that security thing again. This thing is really loud. But I think I can go up there through that hallway. And get up there by climbing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really did. I'm really getting uh, into this game right now. So I uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Praise. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.